guys. In this video, we're going to be checking out the new Bandai Dragon Ball Dragon Stars series. This is Series 2 Goku. Getting out the tape measure, Goku, if you count the tip of his hair, he's about six and a half inches tall. The Dragon Ball series, or Dragon Star series, consists of actually two waves, a Series 1 and Series 2. We're actually looking at Series 2 Goku here, but Series 1 and Series 2 collectively have six figures that when you put them together, you get yourself the total Shenron with a very massive dragon. Now, in this instance, Series 2 Goku comes with Part actually 6 and Part 7 of Shenron. And I guess we can go ahead and take those two tail components and put them together now. Snap into place like so. And of course, we've got the rest of the dragon to put together from there as well. Put that to the side. Goku also comes for his accessories, a pair of extended finger hands. Uh, perfect for certain displays if you want to go maybe outside the realm of the defaulted closed fists that are currently in the socket and when you get them out of packaging. Simply just go ahead and grab the forearm and wiggle the, the closed fists off and replace them with the interchangeable hands. To note as well, the interchangeable hands, I'll take this one off and I'll show you. The hand itself, you'll see that the peg is actually on the top of the hand rather than at the end. So it, the hand is already extended outward, which again makes for some fun additional ways to display the figure. And let me also say too, the articulation on these figures are fantastic. I'll get into that in a second, but let's not get it too ahead of ourselves. Let's have a look at his face. Let's bring the camera in. Face is very nicely done, right down to Goku's very outrageous hair. Uh, I lo especially love the fact that they've given him a very serious demeanor uh, in his face sculpt. But it looks actually like it was just taken right from the cartoon itself. In fact, one thing I can say about the figure as a whole, even if you look at the figure from head to toe, I like that they kept the colors to them very primary. In other words, that they don't really have additional dry washes or any dark areas of the figure's uh, color tone. So basically, like the, the pants themselves have kept orange, the flesh tone. There's no additional shading, which again makes it look a little bit more like it's been taken from the cartoon rather than, uh, you know, a decorative piece that you may get uh, that has all that additional shading and stuff like that for it. So I do quite like that. The plastic that they've used for the orange is very vibrant. Uh, about the only thing I would say, though, is it looks like while the torso and lower half have been, have been plastic sculpted pieces, what they did was they painted the shoulder area which ends up giving you a slight off variance of orange versus what you get here in the torso. Um, so it's not quite the same color, but it's something I could very easily overlook based on just how cool this figure actually is. Loving the sculpting on his pants, where you can see like all those individual ripples running down the pant leg, like really giving it a sense of volume. Uh, the paint on also his legs and feet are done quite nicely in a very vibrant blue, and you've got the little striping of red down there and the ropes tying off the ankle portion. I kind of wish that the figures themselves could have had uh, holes, peg holes on the undersides of their feet, so that if you had a display stand, you of course could get a little bit more dynamic with their poses. But what I might end up doing is taking like a, a, a stand that has like a little clip to it, and I could clip that to the legs if I want to get a little bit more dynamic with the figure itself. It's a good sized figure, and equally so, like I had mentioned, he is super posable as well. Uh, there, again, are going to be a total of six figures, Series 1 and Series 2, and then between those six figures, you're going to have the means to be able to build Shenron, which, again, I'm looking forward to building as well. Uh, like all the little cool folds. Uh, going back to the fold portions again, like loving the sculpting on his outfit. The, the hair and the face are sculpted, of course, fantastic, but I do really especially like the sculpting that they did to the, the outfit as well. I also quite like these little notches, the little lines that they put on the under areas of his eye. 
uh, paint uh, for the most part is really clean. Again, like the shoulder area is not quite the same orange as what we get for the rest of the body, but everything else on the figure is done very cleanly. Uh, the coloring here on the arms, which I'm assuming is probably just sculpted plastic rather than paint, looks like basically most, if not all, the figure is sculpted plastic rather than going the route of painting. But the only area that I could guess would be painted are the areas I've already mentioned, the areas in the shoulder. The face again looks like it's been it's just been sculpted from a, a flesh tone plastic, which actually, if if companies can do, you know, it, it involves more of course mold making, but it ends up giving you a much cleaner looking figure as a result of it, as opposed to getting a bare regular toned figure in the same plastic and then just painting over top of it. That's kind of where the, the quality issues can come from and uh, certainly no quality issues whatsoever on this particular figure. Let's run through his possibility because there's a lot. Well, th there's a lot. His head is on a ball joint, so of course you get that functionality to it. You can tip the head back and forth, up and down, and again you can rotate it all the way around. The shoulders not only hinge outward, but again I'll, you got that full swivel which gets a little stuck just because of the nature of the way the torso part is sculpted in here. You got the swivel on the bicep. You have a double hinge on the elbow which works quite well. You got the swivel also in the hand and you got the hinge back and forth going there as well. Upper torso ball joint, uh, waist swivel. And then what they've done with the legs which is quite cool is that not only do you get the forward and back motion but you can also extend the legs outward as well for additional articulation that you may not normally be able to get by means of uh, being able to, of course, remove the restriction that the leg can't move further out from the socket. Pulling those arm, those legs out, you get a little bit more range going there as well. And then you can just kind of pop those back into the socket. Uh, a very nice bend at the knee. Doesn't look like it has any sort of motion where you can move the lower half of the leg. Uh, and then you've got your ball joint in the foot. So you got a good amount of articulation coming from Goku here. The new Bandai Dragon Ball Dragon Star Series, Series 2 Goku, turned out to really be a fantastic figure. Um, loads of posability, which is one of the things, the one main takeaway I can get from this figure is he's super posable, so he can really do a lot of things that you would want a Goku figure to do. If anything, I kind of wish that he had had peg holes on the undersides of his feet just to give him a little bit more stability that you could attach to a display stand. But other than that, great looking sculpt, great looking likeness, very happy with how Goku turned out. Again, these are going to be a series and series one and series two release. The collective of the two series builds yourself a very impressive dragon Shenron. It's all the more reason why you want to get up both waves so that you can build the dragon for yourself. If you guys like this video, certainly hit it with a like down below. If you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button down below. You won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. And certainly stay tuned, guys, because we're going to have a look at the other Dragon Ball figures from the Dragon Stars series as well, so stay tuned for that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.